Hey, how's it going, guys? In the background is Jesse Sorensen with uh, an S O N for some reason uh, ver <laughs> versus Zima Ion. Now, I know it's not Jesse Sorensen, it's Jerry Jesse Sorensen. Uh, I didn't make this created character like I pointed out in the TNA prediction game video, the official one. Uh, I downloaded this guy off Community Creations like I always do. And like I said, there was like two choices or three choices, maybe two, I don't know. There wasn't that many choices for uh, Jesse Sorensen created character. So I download this one. I mean, right off the bat, when I download him, you know, when you download a created character on Community Creations, there's like a preview screen, a small, you know, tiny picture showing the superstars, kind of his face, kind of. And I guess that's a, that's like a small preview and just from looking at the preview i knew it was going to be a bad created character he, he didn't look good i mean his face is the default face <laughs> it's the default created character face i don't know if the hair is the default hair i'm not too sure maybe it is maybe it isn't i wouldn't know because i don't create created characters really i haven't well actually i do sometimes i don't know no i don't i don't actually <laughs> the last time i created a created character was in maybe 2011 and i only use them in single player matches not online matches so um what was i gonna say so yeah out of all the matches on the against all odds card i picked this match to commentate on over all the others i mean you got the non-couch championship the x division championship you've got uh garrett bishop versus gunner and a bunch of other matches but I picked this one. Um, why? I don't know. I guess just to discuss how bad this created character is. <laughs> Alright, I'm not going to bash, you know, the guy who made the created character. Actually, you know, thank you for making the character. You know, I uh, I myself, I, I don't make created characters, you know, of superstars or wrestlers. I just download them. So, I I'm happy that uh, there was actually, you know, a created character of him. So, for the time being, you know, when it comes to uh, matches involving Jesse... I'm, you know, going to be using this creative character. Uh, I'm not even going to bother uh, editing, you know, the trunks and uh, replacing the O with an E. I'm just that lazy, so. <laughs> Anyways, um, the Zima Ion, actually, uh, just from watching it on the preview screen here, doesn't look too bad. I mean, I can't really see the face right now since we, I can only, see, you know, I can only see him from the back here. But uh, his atzari looks uh, pretty spot on. Uh, yeah, the Zima Ion is pretty good. Actually, I think it's the only Zima Ion on uh, Community Creations right now. And speaking of Community Creations, um, I mean, what's with the patch? I mean, they, they said the patch or the update, whatever you want to call it, was supposed to fix the Community Creation issues. So we can actually get on there and download some pretty characters. But I got the patch. I downloaded the patch. And, uh, I mean... It's still the same thing. I still can't really download anybody. Uh, unless I'm, you know, like I said, un unless I go, like, late at night, like, you know, from 3 a.m. to something like 6 a.m. Um, if I don't go during that period of time, I can't download anybody unless they're, you know, on the front uh, community page or whatever, you know, the main page. Uh, so, yeah, I apparently they're going to release, though, another patch. So hopefully that fixes the issues, because right now, I mean, it just sucks. Uh, community creation is a freaking great feature, you know. Uh, it's a great idea to, you know, be able to share created characters, arenas, all that good stuff. But when you can't use it, then what's the point, you know. But anyways, enough about that. Let's talk about the match itself. Jesse Sorensen versus Zima Ion for the number one contendership to the X Division Championship. Now... I think Jesse Sorensen is going to win this one. Do I want to see Jesse Sorensen win, though? Uh, no, I don't. Um, I would like to see Mayon to win. But, you know, seeing as how, like, I'm predicting Austin Aries wins his uh, title match, retains his championship against Alex Shelley. So that's why I'm going with Jesse on this one. It's the only reason why I'm going on Jesse. Uh, why I'm going with Jesse on this one. Because I don't see them having Austin Aries versus another heel when he just recently had a match with Kid Cash on a pay-per-view one-on-one. So, uh, yeah, I uh, would like Zemayan to win, but I can see Jesse Sorensen winning this one. Unless they, 
Unless somehow Alex Shelley gets screwed over in his match against Austin Aries, then Zima Ion wins this match, and they have a three-way match, then it's okay, I guess, to uh, have a heel win this match. And although I did say I think Jesse Sorensen is going to win this match, uh, what I don't get is the guy hasn't been on TV in a few weeks now. So uh, why they choose him instead of somebody else to be in the match against Zima Ion? I mean, Zima Ion, we've seen him in these past few weeks. He's actually been, you know, against Alex Shelley uh, like two weeks ago or a week ago. I don't know, but he was against Alex Shelley like recently. So I would have much preferred Zima Ion versus another X Division wrestler like Anthony Nice or a returning Brian Kendrick or something. By the way, did you guys see the last two, you know, Impact Wrestling shows? They were freaking awesome in the United Kingdom. The Maximum Impact shows, the arena is so much bigger than the crowd. There's so much more people in the crowd. While the Impact Zone is just so small and yet you've got this same group of people, the same crowd every single week. It just, you know, the, the, two, the last two taping shows were just looked so much more professional. It made TNA look like, you know, a big company. Anyways, I'm running out of time. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, I'm out. See ya.